Hello, this is David Rakow with Haggerty, and today I'm going to drill out the oil galleries on a 389 Pontiac and put in some pipe plugs. So what I have, I have the engine block sitting up on a drill press, and I'm going to use the drill press to, to tap out these two oil gallery holes. Now you might say, well, why don't you just put in the factory plugs back in there? Well, as you can see, this motor's been rebuilt a couple times. So it's not that this hole is wore out and the plugs won't hold in there, but a common upgrade is to tap these out and put a pipe plug in and never do this crimping function again and the pipe plug never moves. It seals up nice. It's just a nice upgrade. Okay, so we're gonna start this project on the drill press, but we're gonna finish it with hand tools. Those hand tools are the tap, the chamfer tool, which will be used actually in the drill press, a 5 8 wrench, which we'll, I'm gonna use to drive the tap, a pair of dial calipers to measure the depth of the cross hole as it comes into here. And then last, the Allen driver to put our plug in. Okay, unlike a straight tap that has a multitude of sizes and thread pitches, uh, tapered pipe taps are fairly limited in, the, in your selections. So here I have approximately a pre-existing hole of about 552, all right? This is considered an eighth inch, obviously too big. Same thing for the, for the quarter. And then up to uh, what I'm gonna use actually is a three eighths. And then this is a half inch here. Now, if this, was, if this hole was a little bit too big for this tap, then obviously I would need to drill this out and then go to the next, to the half um, inch pipe. Now there's a drill chart that'll tell the exact dimension that this hole needs to be for, this, for the pipe taps. Um, here, it's starting the hole. This is gonna be fine. And I'm gonna verify that with my chart. Okay, so as you can see, I have this block set up into a floor standing drill press. You could simply do this on the floor with a, with a hand T-bar and such, but the drill press is a nice stable way to do it. Um, I need to chamfer this back so when the tap starts, it has a nice clean lead in going, going into the hole. I'm using rapid tap here around the edge of this hole. Anytime you're drilling, depending on how much speeds and stuff like that, but basically to drill this through and make it a nice clean um, chamfer and not get a lot of chatter out of it, um, you wanna lubricate your, your tool that you're, you're using. So again, all I'm trying to do is clean up the sharp edges from the punch marks and it gives me enough lead in for my tap to come in there cleanly and, and start. Now I only have a half inch chuck on this drill press so I gotta be a little creative here in how I'm gonna do this. For starting purposes and such what I'm gonna do is actually use a, a 5 8 um, 12 point socket fits in here nice and tight and with the adapter here that I have now, there's all kinds of ways to, to do this. I'm going to use the drill press to modulate the speed. Again, lube it up a lot. Do not be cheap on the tap. The last thing you want to do is break this off. All right, so I got good lube up into the flutes, cutting edges of the tap. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold some pressure on it. Not a ton, but enough to keep up with the cutting, and I'm just going to toggle the on-off button. Okay, that's as far as this is going to get by using the drill press. But the key is, it started, instead of trying to sit here and push into that, and not getting a good cut starting off and then having it crooked and such. In the drill press, it gives you a nice line, a, a good straight line into that hole. So now I'm gonna work the rest of it just by hand. So like I said, I got a good start on it and I'm gonna work it back and forth. The idea is you cut a little, back it up, take the chips back out of your way. You really feel the difference in the tap. All right, so one thing you want to make sure is as you're tapping down, you don't put your oil plug over the top of a cross feed or a feed to the main runner. 
All right, so here I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shine a light from our main bearing. It shows the oil path that I'm talking about, making sure we don't block. All right, so we know the oil passage goes from the front main up to this, to your cross hole that we're trying to block off. What I'm gonna use is just a little piece of brake line I can put up into the hole. And this is just for some sanity. I can measure down to that using some calipers. And my guess it was about a half inch, and I'm right, it's just a fuzz over half, 560. Okay, so we know that this cross hole comes into the main hole. From the top deck down, that cross hole is 560. Now, like I mentioned, you don't want this plug to cover up the cross hole. But knowing the thickness of this is only 413, that gives me about 150 thousandths of clearance if this surface is flush to this surface. So as it when it threads down in there, if this is flush and this is flush, I know I'm not covering up that cross hole. Quick note on pipe taps. They are tapered, unlike a straight tap or a straight thread that would be, let's say, holding the mains down. What that means is as the as this fitting is screwed into the thread, there's a slight taper, and that taper is what helps seal. So a normal thread is straight, it doesn't create a seal, but a pipe tap will create a seal. So for instance, if I measure the very top end of this, which is how deep, so it measures about six, 660, okay? The beginning of this, is only at 640. So I got 20 thousandths of taper on this tap roughly. So the point is, I need to run this tap to right about that depth, which is about half the depth of the threaded portion, in order for this to actually sit down deep enough. So if I'm not deep enough, it'll sit here, and until I get way up here, is where I gotta be to where it sits flush. When you're using a tap, the key is patience, just like when you're drilling. Patience with the drill bit. Let the tool do the work. If you overwork the tool, it'll break off, and that comes into a whole nother repair issue. Now obviously I'm going to clean the motor very well before I assemble it. So the chips down in the oil path at this point in time is not a big deal. All right, so I gave that an extra half a turn, make sure it was deep enough. There. Just a hair above, just a fuzz above proud, it's fine. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm not worried about covering up the cross hole. Now my tap may have went across the face of that cross hole, but that's not going to affect oil flow. We're going to clean this block up, spick and span, get all the chips out of it, get all the oil out of it, and, uh, and then it'll be ready for assembly. Thanks for watching today. Hopefully you found it informative, and if you got any questions, leave them in the comments section below.